Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and I've got just a quick video for you today talking about Nikon's new firmware version 3.0 for the Nikon Z6 and Nikon Z7. Part of that upgrade is the addition of eye and face detect autofocus for animals, specifically dogs and cats. It doesn't work on other animals, apparently, although I've only tried it on dogs and cats so far. Uh, a viewer of this channel and also my friend David Saylor's channel, Bass Angler, mentioned in a comment on a video that I posted this morning that the Z6 now had animal eye detect and I was thinking to myself, no it doesn't. And then I thought, you know what, Bass Angler's a pretty sharp guy. I better make sure I'm right about that. And sure enough, yesterday the firmware update came out. So I'm a day late uh, installing it, but as soon as I got to a computer, I went ahead and installed it. And I've already done a video about how to update firmware on your Z6, so I'll put a link to that up there somewhere and you can watch that video to learn how to do a firmware update. And now I'm gonna talk about how specifically the dog and cat eye autofocus works. That's the only thing I've tested so far. And I'm really kind of interested in that because it's really difficult. I like to take photographs of our dog and our cat sometimes. And uh, usually I use single point autofocus because uh, I like to have the eye perfectly in focus and I'll put the single point where I think I can get the dog's or cat's eye. And a lot of times it, as the cat or dog is not cooperating during the photo shoot, they'll move around and, and it makes it really difficult. But in just a few minutes of trying, it is much, much easier. And I'll show you, um, I won't show you the, the eye detect autofocus in action because I don't have an Atomos recorder or anything like that. But I, I can show you some photographic results on the back of the camera and those will have where the focus point was for the pictures, so you'll get a chance to see kind of how well it worked. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so now we're looking at the back of my Z6, and first I'm gonna to go to Menu, and once you have upgraded, which is right here on Firmware version, once you have your Firmware ver version on version three, like I have here, then you can Go over here to the autofocus section and go down to A4 and you can turn, you can, if, if you do just here face and eye detection on, it will only do face and eye detection on people. If you do face detection on, it turns eye detection off. And if you do animal eye detection, it does face and eye detection on animals and people. So uh, I thought that maybe if you had it on animal eye detection that it would turn face and eye detection off on people. But I'll show you an example of where I took a picture of Heather with the camera set to this setting and it locked right in on her eye. Uh, now if you're taking a picture of a person holding an animal and you want it to, to concentrate on the person instead of the animal, then you would probably want to go up and, and set it on face and eye detection for people instead of animal which does both. But for our purposes today I used auto area autofocus I detect with the picture of a cat there. Now you'll want to go into focus modes to make this work. Autofocus continuous would be what I would recommend because your animal will be moving all over the place if they're anything like ours. And then the focus mode for the eye detect to work, not single point, not dynamic area, not wide area, small or large, but auto area autofocus. Using that mode, you can back button focus or half press, and the focus point will, if you're relatively close to the animal or the person, will land right on their eye, and if you're a little bit further back, it'll land right on their face. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the play button and show you some results of some photographs I just made. I had the 50 millimeter F1.8 G on. I was shooting at F1.8 automatic ISO, and I had my shutter speed, uh, I think I moved around from 1 80th to 1 1 60th. Okay, I made an entire video clip going through these pictures pointing my camera at the back of the Z6 and you just couldn't tell if the pictures were sharp or not. So let's do it this way. Here's the first picture and as you can see, the eye detect autofocus missed and nailed my dog right on the nose but she was moving her head all over the place and it was on her eye before this. That's why I pulled the trigger. 
So moving right along and here she is moving her head and not looking at me once again. This time the camera went into face detect mode and did nail the dog's face. And now finally, still not looking at me, but it did nail her eye this time. And as you can see, if you look where this spot is, this is just seconds apart, although I am shooting one shot at a time, not in a continuous drive mode. Look at the focus point moving around the frame. Uh, the, the way I did dog pictures before was single point autofocus. I would put the focus point on the screen. For example, if she was not going to move at all, I'd put the focus point right here and then I would compose to put her correctly in the frame, which she's really not on this one. But anyway, this works much, much better. Moving on, now she looked at me and it did nail her eye one more time. And now she's, now I've been able to move her to the center of the frame without having to redo the focus point because the camera did that for me. Moving on, another in focus shot with her looking at me. I can't believe she looked at me for two shots in a row. And now I've switched to our cat. This is Ruby. And the eye detect, I think the eye detect worked a little bit better on her. Two reasons. One, she was in a spot in the house that had a little bit more light. And two, her eyes are a little more well-defined than the dog. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But anyway, it did seem to work better on the cat than the dog. Plus, she was more settled down than the dog was. There you can see two shots and the focus point does move to stay on her eye. Could have moved a little further on that one. Perfectly sharp on the correct eye. There's another one, good and sharp on the eye. That one, I think this one's not sharp, but I think this is motion blur. I, I don't think that's focus problems. I think that's motion blur on the cat. I'm at one one hundredth. And though she doesn't, wasn't moving around a whole lot, when she does move, she really moves. And that's a little better there. No motion blur on that one. Perfectly in focus on the near eye. Very nice. Here's another shot. And like I say, I just continued to shoot for just a few minutes, testing it out. And I was really impressed. Definitely missed on that one. Uh, the focus point's on the right place. This may be motion blur as well but that one's definitely not perfectly sharp. It ignores that one. You can see she's, she's getting tired of me pointing the camera at her and she's kind of moving around at this point. That one, the, her eyes are good and sharp, but the focus point's not there. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. That one could be better too. That one's pretty good. You know, not every single shot is going to be tack sharp. I don't care what system you're using, but this definitely helped. Now, I had a question about if you're in dog and cat eye detect autofocus mode, what happens if you point the camera at a person? And the answer is it goes into human eye detect mode. And there's Heather sitting on the couch working on her homework or something. And uh, it definitely nailed her eye in focus. And there, we're back to the dog. Nice and in focus on the eye there. Uh, she's wiggling all around. That one is not very good. A little better there. And still good there. And there. Back to the cat. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. And that's the last one. So overall, I... You know, although it's not perfect and, you know, the conditions that I was shooting in was just terrible light, um, but it still worked really well. Let's see. You know, I mean, it, at uh, 1 160th of a second, we're needing 3200 ISO at, at uh, f1.8. So not much light in this, uh, in this situation, but really pleased with the way the animal face and eye detect autofocus is working in version 3.0 of the Z6 and Z7 software. Okay, thanks for watching this quick video about Nikon Z6 and Z7 firmware update version 3.0 with animal, dog and cat, eye and face detect autofocus. I look forward to more updates. They've done way more updates to this camera 
than they have to any other Nikon camera I've ever owned, and I really like that. I hope they continue as they innovate to just add those features to this camera. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and go get your firmware updated, or if dog and cat eye detect autofocus was what was holding you back from buying a Z6 or Z7, now you can pull the trigger. Have a great day. Bye-bye.